there is this one thing in Fizzlab that you probably don't know about yet. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, this goes away here from Serene Ads, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this particular thing using the styles icon over here. All right, so this is what I'm going to show you that when you open your Fizzlab and you want to manipulate any test, you can use your own pre edited test all right and just change the name okay just change the name and you get it in a stylish form all right just like this one okay you can just go ahead and edit it write any other name over there and you are going to get the same effect all right so i have already edited the test and i made it or i saved it using the styles icon okay the styles icon over here and in this video I'm going to show you how to also do this thing so that anytime you want to use it you can just go ahead and grab it with ease all right so if you are in for this just watch this video to the end and grab all the concepts let's go so first thing first this is what you have to do you probably have to put in your test so I'm going to put in like serene all right I'm going to put in serene just make it capitalize then change the font to probably you can use any other font but i'm going to use heavy tasks all right i'm going to use this font so i'll just have to increase the size of it depending on the working size of my project all right so i'll probably change the color to let's say something like this okay the color here doesn't matter what i want to show you is how you can also make this test for yourself this editable test for yourself using the style icon in puzzle lab all right so right after that i'll go to the stroke icon okay stroke icon select it and i'll select yellow then the stroke i'll make it a bit bold let's say 20 it's okay all right so i'm using 20 and i'll go to emboss all right so if you're using android version 10 and above probably the emboss feature will not work on your phone but that's not a hindrance that's that's not a problem to prevent you from doing exactly this okay you can do this without the emboss feature all right i'm just trying to add the emboss feature just to make the work look more attractive all right so i'll just leave it like this i don't want to add enough of emboss feature to it so the next thing that you will see me doing is to add the 3d test effect okay so i just want this tutorial to be very very quick one okay so after enabling the 3d test effect go to oblique all right this one then after that tap on color so from color you can select any other color that you want maybe this then you disable the extrude stroke okay extrude stroke is enabled so just disable it like this and you have it like this now you can increase the darken feature a bit like this then come down and rotate the oblique angle to let's say 312 or 313 thereabouts okay you, you can just play around it till you get the best feature and let's also reduce the depth of the 3d effect okay let's reduce it i think four will be okay for us so having put it on four let's go back to our angle and play with the angle so we get a perfect fit over here okay cool so once we are okay with this we tap on the check mark and then go to shadow all right we want to add a little bit of shadow to it and the shadow the blur radius is going to be like 14 and opacity you will reduce it also okay you will reduce the opacity of it a bit down like this so once you are okay with this you can just tap on the check mark and you are good to go now you've added your test or you've edited your test now you want to make it editable all right you want to save it so that anytime you want to use any test or any other uh, name let's say you want to write football and you write a football you can just bring it into this kind of format without you having to go back and do all 
or go through all these procedures i've gone through now okay you don't have to go through all these procedures that i just went through you just have to tap a place and all of these things will be done in a matter of a second so let's do that quickly so to do that just tap on styles over here go to save then they'll ask you for this confirmation all right for this confirmation they'll ask you save the current test as a new style so you tap on ok then it will be saved all right so let me delete this and go to test all right we have a new test now to get this test that you just saved okay the style that you just saved so that you get all the editing done within a matter of second go to styles and from styles go to browse when you go to browse you see default styles over here all right they are the samples so go to my styles when you go to my styles you will see all right so currently i'm having three, uh, four of these styles saved over here so the one we just saved right now is the first one with a yellow stroke so let's tap on it and here we have it so that means any other test that we write the test will automatically change to that kind of effect okay so football build this is how it's going to be okay this is how it's going to be and this is pretty much cool right i know i know <laughs> so just get this in use the styles icon right here okay right at the top here and save your test that you've edited so that anytime you come back to Bizzle Lab, you will just write your test that you want any test at all that you want okay just write it let's say smartphone graphic graphics here yeah? so just write any other test that you want then you get your effect done with an ease you don't have to struggle okay you don't have to struggle so this is it this is it this is it okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new here don't forget to leave a comment in the description if you need any clarification or anything don't hesitate to leave a comment okay and also join our telegram group for free graphic designing resources all right and the link will be in the description that will allow you to download your free copy of smartphone graphic designing ebook it's absolutely free so just grab the link in the description and download it for yourself i hope to see you in the next video this goes to here. I'm out.